1941 with 85,000 original miles on it. 85,000? 85,000 miles. The owner bought this car for $2,700. This is a 1941 Oldsmobile Hydromatic by GM. That's right, this car is 80 years old in 2021. You wouldn't think it's 80 years old from the looks of it. The owner bought this car for only $2,700 with only 80,000 miles on it. Before the Hydromatic 4-speed in Oldsmobile, there were several automatic transmission cars, but the Hydromatic was the first affordable and reliable transmission, and it was the first mass-produced fully automatic transmission. Just look at these headlights. You don't see like that little middle part looks like, almost like a jewel. And this, I mean, back in the day, they were doing these Art Deco sort of styles with cars, and you can see that there. And I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's like the, in addition to the blinker, because that's the blinker. During the war, the Hydromatic was used in a variety of military vehicles, including the M5 Stewart tank and the M24 Shafi light tank. The extensive wartime service greatly improved the post-war engineering of the transmission, later advertised as battle-tested. In 1941, the MSRP was 1135. That's right, $1,000, $135. Now, in 2021, that translates to $20,967.23. The Hydromatic did have its problems. Perhaps most noteworthy was a jerky shift from second to third that earned its nickname, Hydro Jerk but it also proved itself well over the, the following years. Cadillac began to offer it as an option for the 1941 model year. It then adapted it for use in the M5 tanks during World War II. Roomy the back seat is. Actually, this almost looks like a limo-sized back seat. I don't know how much trunk space they have. They do have a hula girl back there which is always good to have you have these things there so you can like your passengers can hold on to it the windows are tiny though these windows are absolutely tiny on the inside you do have your transmission indicator over there column shifting and this thing goes all the way up to 110 miles an hour according to the speedo Everything is analog. That on the left side over there is the, the headlights. Back when they were making cars, stylish. All of these cars look great. And then nowadays when you compare it to the cars now, everything looks like an electric shaver, like in the movie Sin City. Just look at the, the handle for the trunk. That's incredible. Fuel. Door. There is some damage over here, but that's just a rubber seal. You know, like there's cracking in the glass, so they mix glass and metal. And this is a clear tube. Like there's so much attention to detail here. Two mirrors on the right side. One here, one there. So this is a Ford Falcon. This is a stick shift. Very surprising goes all the way up to 120 on the speedometer. This one's a little bit more standard than the Oldsmobile. As far as design, like they definitely had more interesting design back in 1941. So why is the Hydromatic important? It is the first mass-produced reliable automatic transmission. There was automatic transmissions before this but this was the mass-produced automatic transmission that paved the way for modern cars. It was a very complex design. It was expensive to produce and had some early problems, but it was reliable and so rugged, it was widely used in drag racing during the 1960s. It was not as smooth as some of the competitors' transmissions, notably Buick's Dynaflow, but was more efficient, especially at highway speeds. The Hydromatic paved the way for the widespread acceptance of the automatic shifting.
Did you ever realize how many motions it takes to drive a car with a conventional transmission? Watch closely. She's ready to start on her drive. With one hand, she steers. The other manipulates the gear shifter. One foot operates the clutch, the other feeds the gas, and there you are. After 19 distinct manual operations, she's finally underway. Not so with Oldsmobile's hydromatic drive. There's no clutch pedal to push, and the usual gear shifter is replaced by this simple direction selector. Just set the selector at drive, then step on the accelerator, and you're off. All shifting is automatic. Oldsmobile's hydromatic is simplicity itself. 